Thank you so much uh, for the possibility to speak about this extremely important issue. It's not like usual thanks to rapporteurs. This is really extremely important. And special thanks to Mr. Nicoletti for the fact that Ukraine is one of the four observed countries during the pre uh, preparing of the report. Because we in Ukraine, we know very good that corruption can be a great danger for national security even. So, really, parliamentary scrutiny can be a very effective instrument in fighting against corruption. But to be really effective, Parliament should be clean itself. That's why I want to inform you that during the last uh, plenary session of uh, plenary week of Ukrainian Parliament in June, we received documents from the General Prosecutor Office on five cases against five of our colleagues who are accused in corruption uh, crimes. And now we will see the possibility and to waive their parliamentary impunity. So, I want to stress your attention that three of them are from majority, are from coalition, are from the power. That's the only way to really be effective, to be clean ourselves. And the same story about the parliamentary assembly of the Council of Europe. Because here, Unfortunately, we also can see that corruption can be find, found here too. And I just want to inform you, and possibly you know, that in Committee of Ministers there was a real fight about financing the investigation body that we organized. And who was against? Russian Federation. Why I am not surprised? I am not surprised because Russian Federation today is the source of political corruption number one in Europe. Because, like Stalin organized uh, Comintern in the 20th century, now Putin organized Kremlin Tern of corrupted politicians, mostly from extremely left or extremely right wings, which are uh, fed by him, by dirty money from Russian budget. And we can see the work of these agents all over the Europe. We know the story about Russian loans to Marine Le Pen party in France. We know many other stories about this. So, that means that we should be very, and very attentive to what is happening around us. And the story about Mr. Agramund and today's decision about accountability in the Parliament Assemb Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe is so important because finally we received an instrument really to fight against corruption, to fight against those who can shadow the authority, the name of our organization. So thank you very much for this extremely important report. Thank you.